Hello Life Adventures, join me this week as we check out some plant-based friendly restaurants in the Jacksonville and Jacksonville Beach area. We'll have some fun! So we just got to Jacksonville Beach a little while ago and it's about to be dinner time so we are headed to our first spot of the trip which is going to be Hoptinger. Uh, Hoptinger has a bunch of vegan options and they also have uh, good beer and drinks so we're headed over that way now and I'll show you when we get there. I got a drink tonight and it's called the special sauce and it's vodka, orange liqueur, blackberries, and honey. So I think it should be good. Very good. <laughs> Our food just got here and I got something called the guac and roll which is a wrap that has guacamole, fried garbanzo beans, and then tomatoes, lettuce, cucumber, and I got fries as my side. And my mom also actually got a vegan meal. So she got a burger that's made out of falafel. So we'll see how it tastes. So we just finished up dinner at Hoptinger. It was pretty good. I would say the drink that I got was really good. My mom enjoyed hers a lot. And then the wrap that I got was pretty good as well. And I got fries as a side, but they also have a few of the different options for vegans. They have a mixed vegetable side that you can get and also a salad if you want something healthy. This morning we decided to go to Southern Roots for breakfast and just pick up our food since we can't dine inside and come to the beach and eat it. So my mom got a loaded avocado toast, if you can see that, and I got a biscuit sandwich which is a cheesy biscuit with vegan cheese, avocado, and tofu egg salad. So we're gonna enjoy that now with the beautiful view of the beach. I'm normally a sweet tooth person and I love that breakfast. That was something I would get over and over again. So I definitely recommend it. If you're here in this Jacksonville Beach area, I would definitely go to Southern Roots. Sweet Theory, which is an all-vegan, dairy-free, egg-free, and soy-free facility. <laughs> and so we got a bunch of stuff to try, but right now we're gonna try the strawberry donut. Mmm, delicious. What are we about to eat? Cinnamon roll, look at that. A vegan cinnamon roll. How is the strawberry donut? The best thing I've eaten since I've been here. That's amazing. I definitely give this bakery five out of five for sure. This would I would say is one of the best cinnamon rolls I've ever had in my life. And let alone it's a vegan place. So just goes to show you, you don't need eggs and butter to do everything. You can use fake butter and egg replacements instead. <laughs> stopped at the house of leaf and bean on our way back from the Jacksonville area back to Jacksonville Beach and we got uh, quite a few appetizers to try so we got uh, dumplings that have tofu in them we got the uh, fried crispy tofu and then we also got some scallion pancakes which were rolled up this place has tons of vegan or plant-based options for people but they also have some chicken so if you're in a family that you know has a mix of people that eat meat versus people who don't, it's a great place to go. Uh, they actually replaced a Taco Bell that used to be there and they kept their drive through so they have a drive through option as well. So we just finished our meal of leaf and bean. 
I would say my favorite thing by far was the dumplings. They were amazing. We got the tofu dumplings. You can also get them with chicken or potato in them. But if you go there, I would not miss the dumplings. Also, the scallion pancakes were really good too. Really flavorful and they have tons of sauces you can pick from. So make sure to check it out. So we came to Florida Juice and Bowl for dinner and I got a vegan bowl that has rice, greens, um, avocados, scallions, onions, and a bunch of other things. And my mom got an acai bowl that has on top bananas, coconut, strawberries, blueberries, and goji berries. So that dinner was pretty good. Uh, one thing I will note, uh, I thought that my vegan bowl would come with tofu to replace the fish, but it did not. Uh, so I had my bowl without tofu, and so it was a little lacking. <laughs> but I think it would have been better with the tofu. Uh, so yeah, just an important thing to note. But it was pretty good. My mom loved her acai bowl. We just came to a spot for lunch that's called Murray Hillbilly in Murray Hill and they are known for having like fast food type food southern comfort my mom got fried pickles that she's really excited about uh she got a burger what's on your burger i, think I don't know lettuce tomatoes some type of sauce and like chicken fries it looks like or maybe yeah i think I chicken know, fries looks really good it looks really good uh she got fried pickles as her side i got a chicken like a fried chicken sandwich which is uh made with soy protein and his barbecue and then i got fries for my side i also there's slaw on my chicken sandwich but i also wanted to just try their slaw and they put like a vegan mayo type looking uh sauce on top and last but not least we got like a little blueberry cheesecake to try again all fully plant-based so not actual cream cheese in this um but yeah everything looks really good how's it taste mom the pickles are great. Haven't had the burger yet, but it looks really good. And your fry was good. Delicious. I would definitely recommend this. Uh, one thing to note is that they actually have a bunch of menu options on the value meal, which are cheaper options, so they don't come with like all the toppings, but they have a barbecue chicken sandwich you can get for just $3. And I really like their barbecue soy chicken, so that's what I had on my sandwich, and I thought the barbecue sauce was really good and the fries were amazing. So I would get the fries as your side if you come. They also have mac and cheese, but I'm not really a mac and cheese person, so I didn't try that. But I've also heard that that's good. Today we came to Taco Lou. Uh, we're starting with some drinks. I got a mimosa, my mom got a margarita. margarita. Looks good, so cheers. And we started today with some guacamole with our chips. They put um, pepitas on top, tastes really good so far. And we also got some salsa that just comes with chips when you come to the table. They also have a whole vegan menu, so if you're looking to eat plant-based here, it's really easy and they have good options. So we'll see you when our food comes. So for dinner, I got the vegan avo taco, and I also figured that I'd try the cheese de la. <laughs> I would say my dinner was pretty good. I tried the cheese quesadillas, which I've never really had, like a vegan cheese replacement, and it was pretty good, although I recommend saving up some salsa and also getting guac to dip it in because it doesn't come with anything else. And I got the avocado tacos, which were really good. And then my mom, uh, she is not a fully plant-based person and she had a salmon taco and also a shrimp taco and she loved it. So it's a good restaurant to go to if you're kind of a mixed family of people who eat everything and then people who eat plant-based or vegan. Show me what you can do, make a move. My hands feel on your body They were dancing in the dark With every move I make you're falling The way my lips feel on your body we were... This morning we decided we'd just grab some breakfast And come and have it on the beach Since we're about to drive home So we went to Deli Comb this morning And I got an acai bowl I will say, Deli Comb doesn't have the most vegan options They have a few 
Uh, but my acai bowl is really good, so I would still recommend it. Thanks for joining me this week as we tasted some great plant-based options in the Jacksonville area. Join me next week and explore what the city has to offer. Tell you, here's your time to shine. Show me what you can do.